You're tuning in to Past Hour Prime, a show powered by Squad Locker. Let's be great. Let's be great. Here are your hosts, retired Astros minor league star Tip Fairchild and former Patriots All-Pro center Dan Copin. Go rock this thing, huh? All right, you ready? Here we go. You're fired, fired up today. I got a ton of energy. <laughs> yeah, no, that that seems to be the case lately. Episode 83, mm-hmm. powered by Squad Locker, as always, the one-stop shop for all your custom apparel needs, youth sports, high schools, businesses, one at a time, directly to Ooh. the customer's home. That sounded like you read that. You didn't. That was right off the top of your head. Right off the top of my head. Woo. Hey, there's two You're of us good. that are on the ball right you now. Were getting, you were getting good. Um, so... There's a lot going on right now. We have a great partner coming on. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, there's the Patriots have their third tr- third string quarterback <laughs> yeah, in, yeah. correct? Yeah. Zappy. Yeah. Zappy. Zappy fever. Z- what's up? What are some of the things they've been saying? Some cool things like uh, Zappy hour. I like that. Zappy hour. I like better than <laughs> Zappy, Zappy fever. Hour. I like Zappy yep. hour. Zappy That's hour. That's kind of funny. Um, he looks good. I'm not in love yet, but he looks good. Would you rather have him or Hoyer? Or Hoyer. I think you get the, um, you know what you're getting right now? You're going to get the, he's going to play well. It's going to be safe. But actually, when, you, when you're safe, sometimes you play pretty well. Like he had 18 pass attempts, but he yeah. was like 15 for 18. Like, yes. So it's safe, but it's. You know good. what that goes back to? The old offense. No, I mean, not, no, not necessarily no. the old offense. Um, play calling. Oh yeah, and well, the shrink people, the playbook, right? People have been not people. I mean, the media in general in Boston mm-hmm. have been hammering Matt Patricia. Yeah, hammering. He looked and, good last week, and but if you're going to have that rookie quarterback in there, mm-hmm. last week you sort of got to throw out because you're not expecting him to come into the the ball game, and I'm hesitant because they did play Detroit. Yeah. Detroit, I, 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 I know, I hear you. Detroit is a bad defense. They are. They're a bad defense. They whooped them, though. But Patricia did a great job of the play calling mm-hmm. to keep him protected, keep the running yep. game going, give him throws that he can make and get, get confidence in the game. And, and I could be wrong on it this, might be but better, I feel like I'm you know, right. It might be better for, like, I mean, think about it. Because if you come in as a rookie yeah. and you play – yeah, you don't know what the hell to do, right? No, so you're also, just focused though, also on just nobody like, knows what to do against you either. I'm assuming that a little bit, right? Like, yeah, you haven't seen this person really in action. Obviously, you don't know what they can do. You can't really game prep like defense. You know, you have an idea. I'm assuming, but you're not like, well, wait a minute, he can make that throw, and it's already an 18 yard completion. Yep, it's like it's not something that they've seen on tape for. 20 years like when <laughs> with your boy you know, with no boy. but you got to give the kid credit for coming in yeah. and, and, and holding down the fort and running that mm-hmm. offense and you know what they put 29 points they should have put a lot more problems in the red area they got to finish drives yeah absolutely finish drives touchdowns over field goals absolutely keep keep taking care of the football okay no stupid penalties don't get don't get off track because that's going to hurt this team and the defense, it that this team needs to play with a great offensive line mm-hmm. and defense line. Win in the trenches mm-hmm. and play good defense. Nine wins, by the way. Because you don't think, I mean, 29 nothing, 29 on Detroit is not going to be 29 on Kansas City, and they're That's not right. going to score zero. So That's right. you got to stay out of those shootouts because we don't know if this team can be that explosive. Smart. Yeah. Nine win teams. Like hey, I'm going with nine wins. But good for the kid. He came in, he did a good job. He did. We do. We did play in a two day, and oh, have you not covered that yet? No, because we were oh, off, God, right, Max? That's right, yeah. right. I mean, I yeah, figured, we, I figured that's play. where you that's would true. leave. No, I, and I, I, when well, we I'm, go out and compete, event. it gets kind of. I'm also 31 pounds down. I know you. I mean, 31. We, just, we can just stop. We can just start with that. You are. You are doing great. 50 days in on 75 hard, have not had one, not even close to one thing that has thrown me off. Indoor, outdoor workout every single day, eating like an absolute furnace. Um, not haven't haven't had one drink. That's that's the, that's pretty tough. That's what it I've is. I've been in some situations too, like where it's been like, come on, yeah, like you know, even just the, like the fantasy draft, the like two, you know, the, 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 the two, two day. day, the two day. So we we played in the two day, uh, the the Quinesset two day fall member guest. 
Um, you didn't get the best out of me day one. You played pretty solid. I was okay. You were okay. I, I, I was a good B player. And, and sometimes what happens is you run into like a team that's really ramped up to to play you, and we ran into that one of those matches. Um, but I will say, nobody's tougher than us in the slop. <laughs> the best Nobody. One, the, the best was the first day we lost by two, the first two matches, and yeah. they were basically we're we, down, we were down one going in the last hole, and yeah. we didn't. We needed. You we missed a putt. On I missed a putt or whatever, yeah. and it was just like, all right. So we lost by two, but they were, they were close. Matches. We have the. We have the guy the who won the winner. flight. Yeah, and we have the. We. I don't think we're the toughest ones out there, though. I think we ran into one guy tougher. Who's tougher than us? Hart, the Coast Guard. Oh yeah, Hart you know what? I mean, guy. it was when you talk. Right. When you talk about slop. It was not a good day to golf, and I am a fair weather golfer right now. I I feel yeah. like because you spend all the time practicing over the years in the cold, mm-hmm. you play in the cold. It's like I don't want to be cold anymore. I'd like to be seventy five degrees with a slight breeze, not fifty. <laughs> it was raining cold. and windy. It was and it was raining. When we talk about raining, this wasn't a sprinkle max. If you remember the yeah. Saturday that we're or the Saturday that we're talking about, wasn't it the it was remnants of the hurricane? Yes, <laughs> it was the remnants <laughs> was of the hurricane. Remnants, or did it just get sucked in by it, or whatever? Because it seemed it, like it, it was way nice too day. close. But it was <laughs> raining. Let me tell you that much. It was a full fledged rain where we were starting to puddle up on the greens, which is when they start to call it. But they really want to get this in. And by the way, if this was, tournament was any other time of the year, they would have banged that day because yep. they don't want to hurt the course. We're at the end of the year, so it's okay. We went, Dan looked at me, I think, Friday, when it was beautiful Friday, yeah. <laughs> and said, tomorrow doesn't look good. But you said something along the lines of, nobody's tougher than us. Nobody. No, nobody tougher. out here. Nobody so out here wants to be People were already complaining, oh, they're going to cancel it. Oh, we're not playing in the rain. Dan and I looked at each other, and we just we said, we will not be ones to complain about this. We have the past to play in a member guest. We're playing in the yes. member guest. Yep. If it got canceled, we we probably would have gone out and played anyway. That's yep. how tough we are. It was it was it was it was a great showing of mental and physical <laughs> toughness. We came out even in the though first even though match. Max, I was I I really was shivering underneath my ring. <laughs> it was cold. I can't it wait was to cold. read this chapter. There was a point I the think on the first nine or second nine where we came in a little bit, got warm, and then went back out and got That's cold. Again. Got that cold. was the worst. That was a bad idea. I feel like my feet were so cold and like there were blocks. Yeah. I feel like they're swelling up. Yeah, it me. was it was it was rain. Now we can talk about it. We never once though said that we were cold or wet. No, that entire day, you and I. No, we not didn't. even close. You can't show weakness when we you're in that competition. <laughs> <laughs> I needed you to bring that out of me, and you brought it out of me. And then we came out the first match, 8.30 in the morning start, absolute downpour on us. Came out, we got the water gloves on, the whole thing, and we pummeled Pummel. the first team. Pummeled. I looked at Dad, I said, this is our time. This is our time. This is what we needed. We needed We needed elements. We needed adversity. No, adverse? Adversity. Adversity. It's yes. an old wooden ship. <laughs> That's diversity. <laughs> we, needed, we needed that, right? We got it. We, you, you were stone. I, I, I will tell you this. I, I learned why you, you've got a couple Super Bowls. That one day, you're, you're fearless. Oh, I, th- th- that's not pressure. That you're fearless. That's not pressure. You were like, let's go. You're like, bring the rain, pour, and then stripe down the middle, <laughs> dead center of the green, make a pot. I'm just like, let's go, Dan. <laughs> we were. Yeah. Uh, well, I went. F- I went. I think I parred the first four to five. And I think you won and the then, whole one. And then we went up four or five. Yeah, and then it came run. back a little bit at the end, but we closed them out. Yeah. The, um, it was fun. The one shot that you gave me on that round, remember I was in the trees to the left on 18. And you're like, no, you got to hood up. You got you to hook in on oh, nine yeah, or right. something oh, like that. And I just... Oh, Maybe the shot of my life, Max. I was like, I actually don't know. Can you tell me how to do this first? So he's explaining to me how to he hit this shot. He didn't have room. He didn't have room. He had to hook it he, or it was going to clip a limb. Because I had to chip out. I, I said, went left and I chipped out and I had to go to the group. Get the I green. literally at that moment taught you how to do it yes. without actually hitting a ball, obviously. Yep. It's like you got to take it back to the inside here and then just, just hook this thing in. You stuffed it to like eight feet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That was huge. Yeah, good. you played great. That was you played fun. Great. We got to find a couple do. more. I mean, of those. That, and that just like that's just enough. Mm-hmm. And then you you go back and you're you're calm. We competed. Yes, that's what we did. And and 
I feel like way, we won. Even though we didn't win, I feel like we won. I, I know. Well, I, somehow, I don't even... We won some money, and we won some gifts, and we won. It was a decent overall tournament. Oh, by the way, they have that bag pocket. I've oh, got it do. coming. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, it comes. I, won, you, I, won a, I won a bag and a raffle. Yeah, bag and a raffle. You won some balls. It was a good day. Um, we got to find more of those because I will say, don't you feel great when you go home that night? Yes. Don't you feel great? Yeah. Just because you competed. Whether you won or lost, whatever, you got out there and actually had to like get that little bit of juice going. Mm-hmm. For some that that's like that heals me, Max. That's like that thing that like type of competitive juice is like a medicine. It would have been me. it would have been better if you played better on Friday. I know. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't I, play great Friday. It, I made it, some birdies, by the way, but I just didn't I didn't play overall like people. Um, by the way, though, this new body that's gonna <laughs> come together for next year, people are gonna fear me. Hey, are you counting golf as a workout? Uh, that if I'm walking, yes, that day I did because I burned like 2,500 calories because we were absolutely drenched. Yeah, if I'm walking, yes, though for sure we were drenched um, because of the rain, not because of sweating. <laughs> no, but it was like there was no sweat whatsoever. But that was as hard of a workout as you're gonna get, <laughs> like on and off clothes, like dumping rain on you, slopping through the mud. What did I do that night for a workout though? I still did one that night. Um, I've been hitting the outdoor heavy fast walk circuit with a weight vest guess what though max don't walk much anymore run run. it's building fast it's building fast i just told dan this is the competitive juices flowing um i'm gonna start signing up for 5ks that's amazing that he's actually looking for road races i'm surprised it's not a triathlon at this point could be i don't know how to i'm a great swimmer though i'm negative you know how hard see him in a wetsuit imagine how hard that is I'm not negative point, but I just like to say it. Two mile swim? Is that what it is? Two miles? I think it's a two mile swim. Yeah. No, it might be a mile. A full a full tri a full triathlon? No, it's two miles. I think it's a two is mile two swim. Miles? Swim. It's a hundred yeah. bike ride. Maybe even a little bit more. Hundred miler. Yeah. It might be and then a marathon. One sixteen and then a marathon. No, no, not a regular triathlon. You're we're you're talking thinking about, a half. We're thinking um. Boy, they can't run a marathon after all that. Because I think the half is like 70.2, isn't it? Like, what would be the... 114.4? Right, here, here it is. Two? Half a mile swim, 12.4 mile bike, and three mile run, 5K. What? No, that's what not... What is a, it again? That's run not, through that, it? That's not a triathlon. Cycling.com says the three distances in the triathlon are half mile swim, mm-hmm. 12 mile bike, and a 5K. Yeah, so that might be like a fast ride. I could probably. By the that's way, that's not that's not it. How many miles on the bike? Triathlon. Look up the triathlon. It's like one hundred. What is? It? It's like it's Olympic a f- triathlon is a one mile swim, a twenty four. That's what this was. That that was half. Uh, okay. Olympic triathlon, one mile swim, mm-hmm. twenty eight twenty four point eight mile bike. No, and no, then a six point two mile run. I still don't yeah. agree with this. You're thinking I still, Iron Man. I don't, You're I, thinking Iron Man. I'm thinking Iron Man. You're thinking Iron Man. You're thinking yes, Iron Man. Yeah, you're thinking Iron Man or Ultra. Right now, I'm reading a book. Uh, it's part of the seventy five hard thing. You read books. I'm on like my fifth book, by the way. Feel better. <laughs> um, Cameron Haynes. Cameron Haynes. This guy, the only guy that Goggin says is tougher that is tougher than him. This guy's a monster. All he does is run everywhere. I can't. Just run, you wake up in the morning and go run 40 miles and start his day. Yeah. That's, he works. Does he? Yes. What time do you wake up? Two in the morning? No idea. Like, just he's an animal. He just decides to run a, a marathon well, like every tw- day. 24 hours in the day and get it in if you want. Yeah, so I'm going to do 5Ks. I'm going to do some 5Ks. The reason why, though, isn't because, like, I was planning on going and winning these things. It's just I think it will help push me a little bit more to be like, okay, this isn't just a jog in the park. There's a lot of people out here, and when somebody passes me, it's like, no, I'm on. Like, you know, that gets you going a little bit. And somebody passes you. All right. So, how much are you down? Let's let's try. Thirty one. You're down thirty one. No alcohol. Yeah. I'm doing it all. Point. Yeah. How much do you miss alcohol? I'm ready to have a. I'm ready to have. <laughs> it's a the beverage. best time of the year too, because you, you, you have yeah. a countdown like, for you it. You know what? Uh, like I was the Oktoberfest from Sam Adams, like I the Marzins that come out, like at the craft breweries and all that stuff. And remember it's here, the, it's the best beer. In my job, so I'm VP of Business Development at Squad Locker. <laughs> my job is entertainment and like going out with customers a lot, right? And potential partners. I just was down in New York City, which really is one of my favorite cities. I do like New York a lot. It's you know, 
can be a little dirty, dirty, a little speed, you know, like a little too much pace, but I love it. Um, I was down there with partners and I'm like, seltzer with lemon and lime, you know, and I'm like, this isn't that bad, but man, I would love instead of, instead, a Tito's instead, dirty instead of just going like, instead of saying, Hey, I'm on a, uh, uh, a program or yeah. I'm on yeah, this yeah. challenge just be like I'm a recovering alcoholic I know it's like I, they're like <laughs> just, what like, one that, guy, that, like well, that's first, the reason yeah, no one somebody, will ask you anything know, else because you can't have one drink on this thing I know. You, know, you can feel like a kind of like a douche yeah but if you're like yeah. I'm a recovering alcoholic please do not ask yeah. me end of it's, story and then yeah then you get no questions I just I I didn't I hadn't had one I, you know I went to dinner I went to I went to Capitol Grill down there one night I went to Brooklyn Butch Brooklyn Chop House another night. So, I mean, and I sat there having a phenomenal steak, yeah. you know, with some, all I had with vegetable sides, beautiful, um, with a seltzer. By the way, I have learned when you go out to dinner, like even if it's just a family, you go out to, you know, the trap, right? Mm -hmm. And you scratch, plug. No free ads. Yeah, no free ads. <laughs> um, if you don't have two beers, Oh, the bill is so bill much is cheaper. Like, oh, my, oh my God. gosh. Food yeah. is, by the way, everyone talks about food being expensive. Food is cheap. Yeah. Booze is expensive. Yes. <laughs> like the bill, I, I got the bill last night. We split it. We were with nine people, eight people, nine people. It comes out. I get my, the bill, and we're just going to chop it. And I'm like, this is my half, right? And they're like, no, this that's the whole thing. Yeah. I'm like, this is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to save so much money during this thing. So, you know, but I'm on it. 31 down. I'm, I Progress. Got, I told you that I have a hard, hard stop in terms of I'm getting to 225 for October 23rd. That's my goal. Because I'll have like another 10 days to go. 12. In, in, uh, and, and what is it, 12 days now? Yeah, 12 days. 12 days now and then another 10 days to go for 75 hard. But if I can get to 225 and you give me 10 days left, I'm going to get you want, down well, another 10. Oh, it's October 23rd, your day? That's my day. That's so your day? That, yep. When so, are we going to post the uh, day one photo? Oh, God. Oh, not oh. yet. Not yet. I almost sent it to Dan yesterday. <laughs> oh, God. It's, it it's, came something, up. it's something you don't want to see. By the way, I got a day one to day 48 side by side that people are going to be like, that's not the same human being. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even kidding. It's wild because I just had got a haircut, like the whole thing. It's like... It's funny. So I'm, I'm thinking that we wait till 75, though. And then fair. we say, hey, that's I might fair. put. I agree. I might put a montage together that, I mean, I have so much video. <laughs> like, I mean, I have 20 hours of video from, like, all this stuff. I'm going to get you a tripod so you can film yourself no, at home. No, 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 no. I just put it up on the wall. Get a little workout in. You got to come down to the gym. And, I mean, we're going to go. We're going to put up some, some steel, some lead today, huh? Some lead. Three. What'd you put up? Three hundred. Oh, three hundred. Some iron. Yeah, iron sharpens iron. Iron, iron sharpens iron. iron. Uh, three hundred on the bench for you. That's a, that's a yeah. Coming big back. deal. Coming back without benching at all. Yeah. For it's how coming many back. years? Eight. Long time. <laughs> Eight. Yeah. <laughs> Every now and then, there was a spurt, but no, I think it's good and I feel better. So, I think weights weights are the key. Weights turn weights are the key. Gas on. Weights are weights are key. You feel better, not as Sloppy. Let's just say that. Well, I just feel um, um, I feel younger. I feel energized with the weights. It's yeah. like, oh, I can move that. I forgot what I'm that telling was you, like. It's just eating in moderation. Eating, drinking less, drinking in moderation, getting a good night's sleep, and working out. That's water, it. water, water too. But I got to. I gotta piss all every the time. Five minutes. It's so hard. It's, it's so hard. so hard. So one thing I've been thinking, Max, is like I am drinking ten pounds of water a day, essentially. Yeah, because sixteen ounces in a, in a in, well, these are twenty ounces, but sixteen we're, ounces, we're ten pounds. Gonna, we're not going to get into this right? mathematics on like how much this fluid <laughs> ounces cost. But I, I mean, I might way. when I hit seventy five days. What I might do on day seventy six, like that next week, is do a dehydrate and then see if I just lose like twenty pounds, <laughs> get right. it down to one ninety nine. Go into a hot Epsom bath, like a, mm. like a salt bath type thing, and have it suck I've, all out. I've of been you. looking into those saunas too. <laughs> Keep seeing He's those gonna things build one. pop up. It's the tea box, it's going to go right next to the tea box. I keep seeing those things pop up, and everybody talks about the benefits of them. So we'll see. All right. So we have perfect game on. Uh, Karina's going to come on. She's the chief operating officer. We're going to bring her in. Uh, perfect game is a big partnership for Squad Locker. This is a big time thing. So we're going to get some good questions out there. Talk about it a little bit, and we'll uh, let's go to the let's go to the interview.
like we said, perfect game, huge partnership for us. Uh, really excited about it here at Squad Locker. We've got Karina Kafalis on with us. She's a COO at Perfect Game, and it says director on here. Oh, director to too. I mean, she's everything basically. Yeah. She's been my like primary point of contact along with Ryan Leinberger and a couple others. Um, I will say, I'm going to say this part first. If there was a partnership, me personally being a baseball guy, that I wanted. You see, I, I held off my comment there. What, I was going to make was, minor league. See, I'm trying to change, Karina. I'm trying to change and be more positive and go for the better <laughs> and not make make light of the minor leaguer. Yeah, that type of thing. So I held my that. I held my comment. You held con- it back. I, Thank you know, you. that's good. Thank you, Dan. Doesn't Thank he you. look good right now? I know. Like I'm, I mean, I'm down. The, the last time you saw him, him, the last time you saw him, I think he was 265 pounds. I was 265 grand. I'm two. <laughs> oh, I'm that's two, right. I'm I think he's right. You guys are on a severe diet. He, yeah, he, right. he is. <laughs> I'm at 237 right now. I've I've dropped over 30 pounds since I saw you last. Watch out! I'm going to 200. Look at his cheeks. They're not as full. I know. You see my jaw. But anyway, Dan, thank you for throwing me off. Uh, perfect game is I would have picked perfect game as the baseball thing that I wanted the most. And the reason why, and this is, we're going to hit on this. If you walk to the mall, the mall is over here by us. If you go to a field, if you go anywhere, I promise you that I will see a PG hat, sweatshirt, something on some kid, lanyard, something everywhere that I go. I see it all the time. Now I wear, I forgot it today. I wear a PG hat all the time, and when you wore I, it, you wore it last week when we were I supposed did, to have Karina on. Then she I, lost I her know. voice. And when people see me, Karina, they go like, "Oh, do you have a kid that plays?" Or like, "Oh, did you play?" Um, and I'm like, "Not yet, but I love PG." <laughs> so it's very well known in the baseball circles, softball circles for sure. So this is an exciting one for us, and we're happy to have you on and, and chat a little bit about it. Happy to be on, guys. Appreciate you having me. And you're in Ugh. one of the most beautiful settings in the world, um, the state of Maine. Green is up in Maine. You have a place up there, right? And it's, it's just look at the view. Look at the pine trees, Dan. Look at the, it's right? just amazing look how we either talk to football players or people that live in Maine. That's just basically what we do. <laughs> that's all. The, that's and just, all. That somehow we do. this wraps in the squad locker too. I know. Somehow we do it. Somehow we pull it off, Dan. Yeah. That's how it works. So perfect game just had a big event. I saw you guys have what? What event is it that you just came out of, Karina? Because there are events every I, day. I just got back yesterday. Yeah, I just got back yesterday from the WWBA in Jupiter. Um, mm-hmm. Huge, huge event for us. Um, you know, call it the top 100 teams. There's over 700 MLB scouts and college coaches there all sitting on their golf mm-hmm. carts with their radar guns. And um, honestly, the, the talent that's there is just, it's unreal. It's, it's a really cool event. Yeah, and then the other one that I watched on TV, I think it was on, was it on ESPN too? Is that right? The, was yep. the was the All-American. Um, All-American game, right? Which Yep, All-American Classic, yep. And you guys, and so do the, you uh, own that? That's the top, call it 55 or 60 um, right. kids in, in, the, in the U.S. Right. All coming together, and we have the East versus the West teams going at it, and it's just, that, that's another really amazing event. Right. Um, and that leads to, you know, all those, you know, over 13,000 draft picks. I, it's, um, it's wild that those are the stats. DG's had over 13,000 draft picks. 13,000 oh, yeah. people oh, have been oh, part oh, of Perfect oh, Game. 1,700 1, MLB, you know, that, that made it into the MLB for yeah. real. So, I mean, the, the stats are incre- incredible. For real, that kind it's of kind of the pathway <laughs> For real, she hit me with the for real, Dan. Yeah. So the I, for real, yeah, yeah the for real. Close. Get into he, the real he show. He was close to me. Yeah, I was Sorry very close, very Dan. close to the real show. It's okay, it's okay. Um, so with your role, so you have an interesting story. So and you can tell us as much as you want of it, right? So you came into Perfect Game, um right when it was being purchased, right? And like, did you ever think you were gonna be in this event baseball space in your life? Is that something that you always strive for? Or was it just, did it come Uh, out of nowhere? You know, coming out of college, I always wanted to work at IMG, right? My favorite Mm -hmm. company in the world back back then. And and I did it, right? So I always loved the sports atmosphere um, and, you know, lived through it um, in different aspects of my life, um, but ended up leaving the sports world, getting into private aviation, private equity, mm-hmm. ended up uh, 
you know, owning a bunch of bars and restaurants. And then uh, I got a call from my buddy from IMG who just recently, you know, had just recently purchased the company, uh, Rob Ponder, who had been, um, you know, a big time exec at IMG for the last 25 years and said, if I wanted to be part of it, um, I, I basically started, I was going to do just 60 days of due diligence on the company before it was purchased. And four and a half years later, I'm still here. Yeah, and it's growing um, so, like a weed too. I mean, the thing is, like crazy. every year you guys are adding you know, probably hundreds of thousands of kids, a hundred thousand kids every year. I mean, you're up in like the one point what three three million or so people like are part you of got Perfect it. Games. One point three million per year. Yep. Has right. there and that grows ten hundred percent every year? Has there? I mean, grown out ten percent. But you hear? Don't you? Don't we hear about numbers being down for baseball? Are you seeing that? Uh, we're not seeing that at no. all. Yeah. Is it um, more, is it, is it more viewership in the, you know, the major leagues and all that stuff, but not necessarily, fine. but not necessarily kids playing. I would say at the, at the elite youth level, it's just grown. It's just growing and growing, mm. um, in different capacities, whether it's viewership on MLB or whatnot. Um, but it doesn't, it's not reaching us, um, right. for, for, for many reasons, I think. Um, I believe that it's it's a community atmosphere for these kids that, I mean, honestly, the talent um, and, and the ability to have your talent showcased uh, through Perfect Game in, in their, you know, you yeah. know, all of all of the areas across. We're at 40, 40 different states now. Mm -hmm. So you, you can be part of this community. Um, and, and it's just a different, I think, a different um way to look at it. It's not just a sport. It's not just showcasing your talents, but it's being part of this ecosystem mm -hmm. that perfect game provides. If yeah. that makes sense. And yeah. it gives like a big year round feel to stuff. And, and Dan and I are both in the camp of like non specialization for like a kid to only play like one sport forever. But yeah. what I do agree with is when you have something that you're good at, you have to continue to do it. You should do other things too, right? Like you should play hockey, you should play football, but you know, Hey, if there's this event or this thing that's going on, right? Like a big perfect game showcase or a big perfect perfect game tournament in the fall, and you have a team, like go, like just be doing this stuff, right, nonstop. The amount of things that you can go to with them is unlimited. I mm -hmm. mean, like there's yeah. no way you could go to all the stuff that they have going. There's, right. there's, it's all over the place, and you know there and there's all these levels that I see all the time too of like. You know, there's a bunch of teams going to some event somewhere, but then now there's like some special, like you mentioned, there's the big, like, what was it again? WWBA uh, that you w just came w from, right? And then, yep. then, hey, what's my, what's the maximum that I want to reach a perfect game? I want to be an All-American, right? Yep. I want to be in the All-American game. And then I saw like some of the videos, you guys have great social media and great content on like, you know, LinkedIn, on Instagram, all over the place. The amount of stuff that they get when they check into like their room, that is that yeah. is an athlete's dream, right? <laughs> so yeah. I, I fall in love sometimes with those like Instagram reels or something where it's like college gear day or something and you 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 know you are uh, you're a uh, you know you're the quarterback or you're whatever at Miami. Yeah. And you check in, and you get to your room and you got a bag and you got the warm suits, you got the hoodies, you got the whatever. You guys gave them that experience too and it's like piled with stuff shoes well, they, Oakley's, honestly, right? those guys are the ones creating it right so we yeah. build all that stuff based on focus groups so it's built for them yep. in mind based on their input so it's it is really cool when they walk in and see all this gear yeah. that they had input in to making and then you know here we are they, they made it there they made it to the all-american or, or right. the wwba or whatever yeah and it gives them a feel so, i know that it would give me the feel of like oh this is what the next level is like you know like when yep. i get you know, if I go to college or if I get drafted or whatever it is, like, this is what, this is what it is. Like, and I'm a big gear yeah. guy in general. I mean, I work for a gear company and it's like, we getting, we, we, there's two O's and goose. Yeah, two O's and goose <laughs> so when, when you get all of a sudden that new thing, you, I get excited by that still. Like even when the golf course gets like new gear in, I'm like, I gotta <laughs> buy that. I'm like, Oh, that's nice to have. So seeing those videos was cool. And you know, watching those guys kind of peel through everything, I'm like, oh, this is, you're making them feel awesome. So, yeah. so 
yeah. good with that. And I, in addition to that, even at the All American Classic, we've got money managers there because these guys are going to get drafted. They, yep. they, you know, all this talent, their parents and and these athletes should know what it's like, you know, because that that's what they're there for. They're mm-hmm. going to get to the next level. How do you manage your money? What do contracts look like? How do you handle different, you know, agents? So it's it's all very, like I said, it's an ecosystem and it's a community um, mm-hmm. that really, like, we're really hoping that these kids and these athletes get um, as many tools as we can provide them. Right. And, and it's different now where I'm sure it was different for you too, because you're older than me. Um, when I was playing, right, like, people would find where talent was. And I still think that's true. Like, if you're really good, mm-hmm. somebody's going to find you, right? But yep. you have to get yourself out there now where, I'm, I mean, I played Babe Ruth baseball, Legion baseball. Mm-hmm. I think I went to one showcase when I was in high school. It's yep. called Top 96. It was in New England. It was like 96 people went to somewhere in Boston for like a thing. That was the only thing that I did, right? Now, you've got to be doing this stuff. Like, if you're excellent, you're going to be seen somewhere. But if not, you're giving them, or if, you know, if you're great, Like you got to go to maybe a couple different events that you have or play for a team that's part of some of your tournaments, right? And that's how, like you said, there's 700 scouts down there. That's where the bodies are now. You know what I mean? Like that's where the people are. They're going to watch you, you know, bring a guy up, right? Or make a great play or or hit for power, right? Like, and that's where you're going to move to the next level. Well, it it depends on sport, right? Yeah, right? that, I definitely. mean, obviously, baseball has been you know, AAU and perfect game. Yep. Traveling, it's always sort of been like that. And I think the mentality now is different from the parents, too, where, okay, you're into this. I want to do this. It's, it comes a lot from the it's parents. Fun. It's fun. It is fun. And as yeah. long as the kid enjoys it and wants to do it and is still having fun and, yep. and, and enjoying the sport, mm-hmm. but a point at the point where they're not enjoying it and they're being forced to do it, yeah, that's then that's, that's the problem. And yeah. I think the mentality yeah. of parents... And Karina, you might run in. Do you run into some crazy parents? Oh, I bet. You know I what I mean? I mean, that's wild got, parents down it's, there. That's got to be the worst part of your job. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's nuts everywhere, right? If your parents are putting so much time and energy into these events, they definitely get embedded and, and some of the parents get mm-hmm. a little over the top. I bet. Um, I think that's with any, any sport, sport that you're taking. Absolutely. I, I will sport. say, yeah. and now that I'm in it, um, I think softball is worse than baseball for that. <laughs> now, I will also tell you, though, that I think hockey is worse than all It's of them. possible. It's possible. You just showed me a clip of it's that. It's possible. I mean, it's yeah. just it's nuts what goes on, and they just need to sit back and relax. And Like, if it's going to happen for the kid, it's going to happen. You know, the mm-hmm. kid's going to have talent. He's going to be able to get seen at these different showcases. He loves the game. He enjoys it. Mm-hmm. I think that's going to happen, and where the parents need to take a step back and go, this is theirs, not your dream, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think they sort of put themselves in their kid's position a little too much. Yeah, I'm a left field line kind of guy, Karina. So, like, I don't sit right there behind the plate and, like, do ye- and right. yell at the umpire, like, in these games. I just <laughs> venture down the left field line, kind of lean against the fence. You know, my presence is known by my daughter out there, but at the same time, like, you know, I'm not going to get in the mix when it like comes to like no, a close then, play at the plate. That you know? and strikes and balls, yeah. and they're going <laughs> exactly. after the umpires, yeah. and it's just it's it's yeah. too much. Yeah. So I'm a left field line guy. I feel like you're the same. I feel like you guys should have rules. You guys got to probably have rules in place um, that you got to stick oh, yeah. to. Um, with basically, you know, they don't have any leeway. Or they Co- can't codes talk of to conduct, people. right? Yeah. It's yeah. just simple codes of conduct, right? With 1.3 million kids coming through the program every every year, that's five million spectators. That's a lot of people that are involved. Um, we got to make gear. sure that everybody is keeping distances. And mm-hmm. but for the most part, um, I feel like the, the the level of competition plus the professionalism. We do a good job of making sure that everybody toes the line and and sticks to what they're supposed and and pays attention to why we're there, right? The athlete, the yeah. talent, and all of that. Yeah, so I absolutely. feel I feel overall we do a pretty good job of maintaining that. But like you said, <laughs> it's definitely out there. Yeah, it gets sure. a little wild. Um, so coming from outside the baseball world, right? Do you um are you like are you up to speed on like baseball terminology and everything? Is that something that ever hits you? Like, you know, cause Dan loves this stuff where there's words, you know, like wild words or, yeah. it, you know, just like traveling around. Are you in the scene? Are you like around all these like coaches and stuff all the time? Or are you kind of like behind the scenes of it? 
I'll say I'm more behind the scenes, but being involved for the last four and a half years, you have no, you have no uh, choice but to absorb mm-hmm. it all, right? So yep. don't quiz me on the terminology, okay. but it's oh, in there. That would have been. I was good. thinking that, about you know what? That would have been a good I, idea. I was gonna. I was thinking about quizzing it been, on some. Karina, but, it would have been me and you going for for the for the title. Of yeah, who like knows you, the least? Because you love. You, what do guys say sometimes? You like when we say like you know like throwing chat or like he seeds or yeah, rake. Well, rake and yeah, and you shoved, no, you shoved it. I was shoved. like, I, I don't even know what shoved means. Yeah. Like, oh, he shoved last night, you know, and it's like, what does that even mean? I'm like, well, he pitched great. Like, he had a great start, right? Like, so those those terms come up all the time. I didn't know yeah. if you'd get in the mix Well, on now, that. That, now that we're getting into softball, I never heard of slapper, right? I didn't there know what go. that meant. That type of stuff. I'm like, ooh, what you, does that even mean, right? And it's a great lead-in so be, there. There. because I want to talk about softball next because I'm in the camp of okay. having two daughters. And I know that perfect game to me has always been baseball-related. Um, for until you told me that it's not all baseball related, right? And I Correct. think that softball yeah. needs. Um, you guys have cornered this thing, like for baseball, like in terms of if you want to be a high performance thing, like you are a perfect game baseball athlete. Softball is a little more scattered. There's a lot of different things out there. There's USA softball. There's U U triple U S S S A three S's. I think there's a bunch of different things that are out there. How hard are we going after the softball market right now? This is me asking as a parent, not as a partner, because I would love yeah. love it if perfect game softball yeah. was the thing that my kids were part of. Yeah. And honestly, that's the reason why you, you just you just said a tip. That's the reason why Perfect Game decided to get into softball is because we've gotten so much feedback that it's, hey, I wish we can have perfect game baseball in the softball space. Right. Mm-hmm. We've been hearing it for years. Um, we, we dabbled in softball for the last call it two and a half, three years. It's completely different than baseball, as you know. Mm-hmm. Right. So it, it's, it's a different sport and the, the, um, what needs to happen for the sport in general is different. It's, it's more, like you said, it's kind of scattered. Um, it's not as, um, formalized. Mm-hmm. The standards are not put together as much as it is on the baseball side. But what Perfect Game can offer is this same, I'll say, same level of competition as we do on the on the uh, baseball side for softball, mm-hmm. as well as the professionalism, right? So we will have diamond cast um, scoring professionally scored every game. We'll have you know pr- player profiles, and and honestly, the player profiles on the baseball side, we have fifty million hits a year. That's at the community that's like going after it, right? Yeah. So if we can do that on the female side for the softball like that community is is huge right Right. so um we're going uh we're going to go slow in 2023 because we want to make sure that we do it right and we're starting with what perfect game has always been known for which is scouting Mm -hmm. so we just released our top 50 which is so cool we've been scouting for the last 10 months uh, female athletes across the country and checking them out and writing up reports and scouting everybody that we, mm-hmm. we, we see and come by. Um, and so we released that. We got great reviews on that. Um, and now we're putting together a standardization package of, you know, here's the metrics that we believe as a, a professional organization will be um, utilized across the industry. Um, and then we're going to start doing, honestly, on the combine side, we're going to start there mm-hmm. and then get into tournaments afterwards. At, yeah. what, at what age does Perfect Game get involved? So Was on it? the baseball side, we're, we're um, call it 8U okay. um, to 18. And and we're going to start as well on the softball side the same. Okay. 8U. I'm in the 8U yeah. world. Oh, right boy. Now. 8U go. world is an Ray, interesting Ray, Ray, world. Ray is the new perfect game. Uh, yeah, top, 50. Gonna, top 50. Top 50. We're going to get her in there. That's what we're going to shoot how, for. How old are your daughters? Eight and six. So, eight, well, eight, turning six, nine eight, okay. this year. So we're, we actually move. There's no 9U. There's ten years, yeah, right. Which actually, yeah. and this is what I've what I've heard, and you you learn the same thing as you're diving into softball. Eight U is awesome because it's still coach pitch. Ugh. When you yeah. go to ten yes. U and it's kid pitch, and it just grinds to a halt. Where it's going to be interesting, but we're gonna, you know, we're, we actually have a game Friday night. I don't know how that that's hard to pitch. Like an it underhand is. Is. fastball or yeah. fast pitch, that seems hard, and to do it at nine, ten years old, yeah. That's gonna, seemed, that seems like it brings a gonna, game to a be really big stop. It's going to be interesting, but I'm excited for it. So um, the 
other part that's Matt, and I mentioned this to start where whenever I go anywhere, I usually see a PG logo. You guys are going hard into this space, and that's where we come in and we help out also as Squad Locker, where um, your brand is out there big already at the retail side. People buy it all over the place. Um, you've got your own line coming out now, which people are going to just, uh, you're not even going to have enough fabric to make enough because people want, PG has established itself as a real brand. So like, like you have the swoosh, like you have the three mm-hmm. stripes, right? Like a PG on a cage jacket or a quarter I, zip. I knew you were going to bring up the cage jacket. The cage jacket's popular. He's absolutely thing. in love with it, the cage jacket. It dates jacket. me a little bit because it, it now it's like hoodies it. and stuff. But I just think about a cage jacket. It doesn't need to be an actual cage jacket. It just is like, it's a, it's a warm up, a yeah. warm up, right? Look at it that way. Okay. No, oh, I, I picture like, uh, remember McGuire? And like Jose, you're and thinking Sango. of like, yeah, the big yeah, yeah, sleeves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those, you're thinking those, the big sleeves. Those K jackets. No, nah, it's much cooler than that now. So you guys have a really cool line that you came out with. That stuff's going to blow through baseball. Like, like you know, that's what people are going to want uh, because I think these kids, like you said, there's 1.3 million kids out there playing. Like they're, they've bought something from PG before. They're going to want to take that to their teams. So you guys have this great line that you put together. There's also uniforming too. Um, I see, I see it all over social media and all over like LinkedIn and everything. Um, I know that's a big strategy of yours. How, do you feel good that you have a really cool logo first start? Because the PG logo yeah, is clean. You know, that's what kind of it started with. Yeah. yeah we love that logo, right? Like, yeah. It's, it's, it's just, it says everything, right? It says, it says professionalism, elite competition. Yeah. Like it, it says it all in one, in one and baseball, right? Or, or diamond yep. sports yeah. mm-hmm. in, in, in one little, you know. Yep. One little logo. Logo. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. Yep. So the fact that and, you have a good logo, that's important to start. So you do. So that's going to be on items that people are going to want. So that's a big win. At least yep. it wasn't like some crazy mark and then oh. it's going to be tough to sell. Yeah. So yeah, it's a great logo. So we and have, we're going into the proprietary fabrics and all that stuff right. because if we're, if we're, you know, the elite model and, and the, the professional model, um, we need to make sure that our gear is good. And, and that's, that's right. why we're super stoked to be with squad locker, mm-hmm. being able to offer our customers, you know, customized apparel and all of that right at their fingertips. It's, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. I, I'm excited um, so for we're, the, we're excited. I'm excited for the day too, that when I see it, a PG item, but with that team logo on it, right? Mm-hmm. Like that's yeah. where yeah, yeah. I'm so used to seeing the big PG all over the place. Now it's going to be like, oh, a PG with, you know, the the Boston Bombers on it or whatever the team is, right? Mm-hmm. That's going to be cool. So, yeah. and I think we're going to see those all over the place because I keep getting messages in my own network that f- since their announcement and since the release of the partnership, they're like, hey, when's this? When can I buy? Um, when can I buy my kids some stuff for like, you know, for the holidays or whatever? Like, when's that? When's that going to happen? And I'm like, don't worry coming everybody's going to have the ability to do it and we're working on it right now so that's uh if that type of interest is brewing it feels uh it feels exciting in the overall space so uh, we're we're really really excited to be part of it um what's what's big coming up for the rest of the year are there still things i mean baseball playoffs are cranking right now in the world series do you guys tone down some now or is there still like a lot of things that are that are upcoming yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on. Main event is our kind of last, um, the last uh, program that we have at the end of the year. And that's honestly the end of the year goes through December 31st. Mm-hmm. So we're, we're cranking throughout the whole entire, what we used to consider the off season is no longer the off season, right? There's so no more off seasons. Um, no yeah. more. Showcase season. Yeah, no more, no more. Mm-hmm. But honestly, it's, it's about, it's, it's really about where we play, um, and and the need right so we make sure that we we have events for folks in different areas seasonally um across the united states um to get people there again their talents showcased in 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 any time of year so um you know we're just growing in that respect so it doesn't slow down it just it hasn't slowed down that's for sure yeah there isn't really an off season with it so um i get you know do you, do you have anything else that you want to cover, Dan? I think we've hit. I think, we got I think we've hit a lot of it for sure. Um, when do we get to see you again, Karina? Like, where should I go? Like, to, the next, th- the next Maine. perfect event. Just I, go to I Maine. will come right up there. Don't tempt me because I'll be right there come soon. Come to me. Yeah, I am coming up in a week. I'll be up there for a couple of days, but I'll be in Portland. But then next thing that you go to, where should I be? Where should I be in the baseball world? You know, we're actually one of Dan's projects that he doesn't know about yet. We put together these maps of, like, all these sports. 
and we're trying to figure out, hey, what things should we should we attend? Whether mm-hmm. it's a trade show, a conference, whatever it is, where are you going next that I should be? Honestly, I think, I mean, it depends on what you're looking for, but I, I love the events, right? So mm-hmm. every time you go to an event, a big event, you're just wowed. So in November, there's, um, I'll call it the state games where the best kids from each state are coming together. Mm-hmm. And it's a, it's a junior event, right? It's more on the youth side. Um, so these aren't these aren't the kids going off yep. into to colleges and to the MLB. These are younger kids, but their top kids got picked across the country, mm-hmm. and they're coming in to represent their state. So it's gonna it's gonna be phenomenal. Where are they go? Um, where where so is that? Yeah, where are you doing that that's, one? That East, that's at East Cobb in in Atlanta yeah, in November, uh, second week of November. Are you familiar yeah. with East Cobb? I'm not. Are you East Cobb? <laughs> East Cobb is like a factory factory of of athletes. Oh, really? Baseball, baseball world athletes. Yeah, that's that's where it's that's where most of the stuff's done. Now, do you guys yeah. have another facility that you're building somewhere though, or is that is that is that yeah. is that uh, information that's not out to the world yet? We can no, cut no, it. it's all good. Um, yeah. yeah, no, we've got a bunch of uh, complexes going online, but the, the main one we're looking at is um, in Cedar Park, right outside of Austin, Texas, right. coming online in 24. Mm-hmm. So a number of softball, baseball fields being put together, inclusive of, you know, hotels and yep. all of that. Um, and uh, yeah, we're super excited about that. It's, Little, it's, it's for, built, built for PG, right? Um, you know, so that we can program it out and have one main hub. Yeah, um, right. So we'll have a lot of big events there. It'll be cool. And absolutely everybody is going to Austin right now. Have you noticed that just in general? Joe, I think a this all bit. started with Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan went to yeah, Austin. Yeah. Now he's just bringing everybody to, to Austin. It's all there. I've never been there. I've been there a couple of times. I've, I've it's a good, it's a good spot. I'm just surprised. Everything is like gathering spot, yeah. in, in Texas. So that'll be, that'll be great to see. So I'm also, I go to the, uh, the ABCA show in January. I don't know where yeah. it is this year. Do you go to that? Yes. Yep, I will I'll meet you there. there at that. Cause I'm going, you want to go? Perfect. Yeah. Where is that one this year? Do we know? Oh. It was in Chicago last year, which I love. I love yeah. Chicago. And this is a this is like a reunion for me going to that thing. <laughs> I see like all my buddies I, because they're all in the industry some one way or another. Yeah, a lot of these everybody's guys. Everybody's there. So I go there. We go out to dinner. We have a good time. Like I walk around. You know, it's like a good fun two people, days. People notice me. <laughs> people don't <laughs> notice me at all. But, you know, I, I notice them, I think you could say. So where's that one, Max? <laughs> you find it? Nashville. I'm going to be double dipping in Nashville. I'm going to Nashville in December too. This is going to be a big Nashville event. So, so maybe we'll catch you down there in Nashville, Karina. Okay. Perfect. Sounds Th- good. Thank you very much for thank coming you, on Karina. here. The partnership is awesome. We're excited about it. And if you are doing anything in regards to baseball or softball, like you should know what perfect game is already. But if you don't go look it up and understand that you need to be part of it. Right. Sounds good. Thanks, okay. guys. Appreciate Thanks, it. Karina. We'll All right. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Alstar Prime is brought to you by Squad Locker. Squad Locker is your one-stop shop for custom team apparel, delivered right to your front door. Learn more by visiting squadlocker.com.